morning, um, brothers and sisters. Good morning, good afternoon, where I live, brothers and sisters of Christ. Um, um, I want to come to forward to you guys this morning. I'm in my seat of truth. Um, God had gave me many dreams last night, but this one particular dream I woke up this morning and stood out to me, and um, I had talked to him about it, and we had a discussion, and um, he told me what it mean, meant, and then also he gave me a scripture to back it up, and I want to give it to you guys also. Um, and I know it was a word from God because um, I was trying to set up today, and um, I was having a hard time to setting up my phone, and everything was just falling, falling, and it never happened like this, and it was like I was wrestling back and forth. And so I had to rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus and tell him that God will, will go forth and I had to rebuke him. And I told him that um, I don't care if you and I have to tape it down. It's what God word is going to go forth. So um, after I, he knew I was serious and everything, he left me alone. So we're going to say God's word. We're going to put this God, God word out forth. And um, I'm going to give you guys my dream and um, this dream that God gave me. So let's go and um, get your word for yourself, guys. I would say get in your own Bibles. Don't go what I say. Nobody else say get the word for yourself. And we're going to Isaiah 45, 1 through 13, but I'm going to give you my dream first. Okay, I was like standing back and, uh, and watching this man and this woman that were in the woods. Excuse me, Lord. And we, he, they were in the woods and they were sitting down by this tree. And um, it was dark. And I seen a big old spider web across them. And there was this big old black spider sitting on top of the spider web. And they didn't even know that there was in this spider web, I guess because it was dark and they didn't know. And so the man, the lady stayed sitting by the tree, but the man came forth and he lit this fire. And as he was, the fire was lit, he was having his hands like this across the fire, but raindrops was coming down. And it was like lightly, you know, I started to sprinkle and it was like little rain was coming down and he was blocking the fire from the rain. So it would, uh, the rain wouldn't put out the fire. And at first I was like, Lord, I thought this was like, probably it was the web that was melting. But the Lord had brought into remembrance of me to tell me that the web was dry. And usually if you light a spider web, it just disappear real quick and fade off. It wouldn't be dropping like this. And it was continue to drop like rain. And you brought back to me like raindrops. It was rain coming down. So uh, he gave me a meaning. The uh, meaning of this dream. Um, the spider web is Satan lies. The man and woman was sitting in, snake in the darkness. And Satan was um, sneaky. They didn't even know that they was around this spider web. This big old web was over them. So Satan is a web of lies. And, uh, so Satan got people minded, uh, blinded with this darkness. And so God, the light, the fire, is the consuming fire. That's the Lord. The Lord is the consuming fire. So he lit up and everything. And uh, the consuming fire. So he, he lit up the whole uh, um, area. So I don't know if the people seen the spider or not. But I'm just going to go on the word with God seeing me. And I seen the rain coming down. And the man was protecting me. Um, so we're going to go to uh, Isaiah 45, 1 through 13. And God is talking to Cyrus, God's instrument. So remember I've been telling you guys that God has been telling me that a lot of people are hidden. And they, they need to come forth. And they have a word from the Lord that they know they need to go forth. But Satan is blinding them uh, with these lies like, you're not equipped enough. No, God ain't tell you to do that. Uh, you ain't strong enough, and oh, look how you look. You know, Satan will give you all kind of words, and he'll try to use your weakness against you. You might be insecure, uh, insecure about something, or you're not confident in nothing. But uh, God, if God give it to you, he know that you, you're equipped to do it. He give you everything you need to do it. So, knowing that you're equipped to go forward and what God have you to do, and Satan ain't nothing but a, uh, a web of lies. He putting lies over you, and uh, keeping you... Uh, bound from giving God's word but we we pray and uh in Jesus name we know that you're gonna go forward because when I read this word to you and you know that God gonna push you forward uh, so I pray that, that God's word will do something to your spirit today and push you into your destiny and what God has you to do um yeah I'll excuse my hair you know I got up this morning but we ain't worried about that anyway because we already know God said come as you are so let's go into Isaiah 45 1 through 8 1 through 13 so listen carefully to your word and also get into your word for yourself. Okay, it says, um, remember God is talking to Silas, his instrument. It says, thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have held, subdue nations, to subdue nations before him and lose the armor of kings, and loose the armor of kings. 
to open before him the double doors so that the gate will not be shut. The gates will not be shut. I will go before you and, I, and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gate of bronze and cut the bars of iron. I will give you the treasure of darkness and hidden riches and riches of secret places. Excuse <coughs> me. That you may know that I, the Lord, who call you by your name, I am the God of Israel, for Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel my elect. I have even called you by your name. I have named you, though you have not known me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God beside me. I will grant you, though you have not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun to its setting that there is none beside me. I am the God. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create humility. I, the Lord, do all these things. Rain down, you heavens, from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open. Let them bring forth salvation. Let the righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. Woe to him who strives with his maker. Let the poster, the poster, strive with the poster of the earth. Shall the clay say to him who formed it, what are, what are you making? Or shall your handiwork say, he has no hands? Woe to him who says his, said to his father, what are you begetting? Or to the woman, what have you, been, have you brought forth? Thus said the Lord, the Holy One of Israel and his maker, Ask me of things to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands. You can you command me. I have made the earth. I created man on it. I, my hands, stretch out of the heavens and all their host I have command, commanded. I have raised him up in righteousness and I will direct all his ways. He shall build my city and let me exalt or exiles go, go free. And let my exiles go free, not for price nor reward said the, the Lord of hosts. So you guys see this right here? God is speaking to Cyrus. And Cyrus is his instrument, his anointed. This let me know that God is speaking to his anointed one. You are chosen. God is using you as an instrument and you need to come forth. And um, Satan has a web of lies over you. And I'm saying that you giving you a thing. You can't do this. I ain't trying to make you trying to distract you off of your path and telling you who you're not worthy and this and this. God equipped you. He gave you the word. He, he gave you, gave it to you. Excuse me. He equipped you with it. You can do it. You got this. You make one step, you're going to make the rest. And then, you know, um, the fire, the consuming fire, the fire was in the dream. God, that's God, was with the man. I don't even know how the man got the fire. Imagine they in the wilderness. I don't even know how he got, what he got to, lit, to light the fire. But God was there. He the consuming fire. He lit the fire. And then um, the web of lies. That's just Satan trying to keep you bound. Go forward in the Lord. You make one step, God gonna make the rest. Like I already said, He gonna make, He gonna um, open doors before you. He gonna open doors before him, for you, the double doors. And He said the gate will not be shut. Um, he will go before you to make the crooked places straight. So don't worry about how you gonna end up or where it's gonna go. He gonna make the path. He gonna make every straight, uh, crooked place straight for you. And they said he will break pieces of gate and bronze. Every place that need to be broken, everything that the, the devil trying to break and hinder you and block you, God going to break them. So don't even worry about it. God got you. He's speaking to me too. This just encouragement. Because we got to keep pressing forth in the Lord. Like I said, you guys keep seeing. You see my video, I keep telling y'all guys. Look how God had me. Don't worry about how you look. Look at me. He worked on me. He told me to come as I am. All this stuff on society got you got to be dolled up and all this and all that. You ain't got to be like that when, when for the Lord. The Lord uses the donkey. And, and he uses whoever he is. He uses a, a homeless person. Whatever you hit. Don't worry about how you look. God said come as you are. You come as you are and let God work. He going to take care of everything else. We ain't, all that makeup and all that stuff. Sometimes that's distractions. God want to get the word. So I just pray that you this help you guys. And know that uh, Satan can't hold you down, boo. God got you. <laughs> the thing is, uh, Satan always want to mess up with our identity. That's what God been telling me. Right here, God already telling you. He already known you. Be you before you even called his name. He know you by your name. He knew you before you was even born. He created you. He know what you able to do. He know how powerful you are. Just like Satan know how.
how powerful you are. That's the thing about it. We got to understand. Satan be trying to tear down people's identity because he don't want you to know your identity in Christ because he know how powerful you are. Do you know how powerful you are? God will show you. He's showing us how powerful we are. This was Satan be trying to block us out. He don't want you to know your identity in Christ. He don't want you to know how powerful you are in the Lord. We have a mind as Christ. We walk like Christ. God will have people deliver people from um um waking people up from the dead. He got he have people over here do walk we walking like him. He got people delivering folks, delivering people from demons and do you know how powerful you are? <laughs> how we are, let me correct that. Do you know how powerful we are? And that's the thing is why to keep staying firm in the word of God. And knowing that you got this, this one thing we lacking in the body of Christ. People not helping people, encourage people into their destiny. This what been going on in the church house. Do you people want to keep you limited and bonded? I mean, um, bounded. Instead of pushing people into their uh, destiny, knowing how powerful they are into the Lord. Not saying every church like this, but God showed a lot of people they all was selfishness. All these full of selfishness leaders and, and false prophets and it's so much going on. So God had isolated, had have isolated us. To, uh, to get us on our journey with him. And he, he worked with us on his own behalf. Because he knows when the word comes from him and he directs us, we can't go wrong. So he sometimes he puts you in isolation. So he can get you to teach you how he want to treat, uh, train you or uh, build you up in the way you should go. Because we go off to other folks. They put had us all drifting off and doing something else. So we got to be careful. Not saying that he didn't give us leaders. But a lot of them fail people. And God, he's going to take care of that. So um, cherish your time <laughs> by yourself in isolation with the Lord. Because he directing you and creating you and letting you know, giving you identity. Letting you know who you are and who he created you to be. So just know, read I tell, I tell you guys all the time. Get the word and read it for yourself. Because it's something about when you read it for yourself. You don't listen to us. True followers of the Lord Jesus Christ that give us the word and push forward and it's encouraging you and um, feeding your spirit is good to always you can hear because it said also don't be doers of the uh, don't be hearers of the word be doers of the word so um, it's also good to read the read the word for yourself so whenever somebody you talking to somebody or listening to somebody um, Get the word for yourself and read it and compare it to what they're saying. Don't go off what nobody else say. Go uh, go to the Lord about everything and read your word for yourself. But Isaiah 45, 1 through 18, y'all. I'm excited. I'm going to say that, y'all. God is he's bringing forth his people. And uh, his will will be done on earth as it is in heaven, y'all. So keep pressing in the Lord, y'all. Love y'all. And know that um, God with you. He never leave us or forsake us. And no matter where you at. See these people that was in the dreams in the wilderness. God is a consuming fire. He's with you. And he bringing you forth. So I pray this encourage you. I don't care if it's just one step. It, it get better with time. Because then you it builds up confidence. And you know God is with you. So um, may God continue to be with you. And um, I'm excited to see what God going to take you. In Jesus mighty name. Um, love you guys. Be blessed. And um, I'm praying for you, praying for me, praying for everybody in this whole world. In Jesus' my name, love you guys. God bless you and I do too. Well, love you and I do too. Bye.